We all know, or almost all of the popular TV game keys to Fort Boyard, which has been broadcast on NTV since 1994. The central object of this TV show was a stone fort located off the Atlantic coast of France, between the islands of Aix and Aleron. Today we will tell you the history of this unique structure. The finished fort was 68 meters long and 31 meters wide at a height of 20 meters. The 66 casemates of the fort could accommodate 74 artillery pieces. The garrison of the fort consisted of 260 people. In the event of a siege, the garrison could hold out for two months using water and food supplies. It would seem that after the grandiose efforts the fort has finally been built and is ready to fully justify the funds invested in its construction. But here it is the irony of fate. By the time the construction was completed, it turned out that the fort was no longer needed. For more than 50 years since the foundation of the fort, the range of artillery guns has greatly increased and now coastal batteries easily block the strait. Thus, the need for it disappeared, but the fort remained the introduction of the French military department and was subsequently used as a prison, not participating in the fighting. However, the fort was destined to be a prison for a short time. In 1872, the prisoners were relocated to a special colony on the island of New Caledonia, and the Navy occupied the fortress. Thus, Fort Boyard still received the status of a military facility and was such until 1913, when the military finally abandoned the fortress. The deserted fort became an excellent prey for thieves. Everything that was of any value was taken out during the Second World War. Fort Boyard, like the whole of France, was occupied by German troops. The invaders used the fortress as a target for practice shooting, as a result of which the piers and breakwaters were almost completely destroyed, and the courtyard of the fort was literally buried under stone rubble. Over the next 20 years, the fort remained in complete disrepair and gradually collapsed from the effects of the sea, wind, and seabirds. On May 28, 1962, the fort was put up for auction at an initial price of seven and a half thousand francs and was purchased by dentist Eric Earth for 28,000 francs. However, he did not have the means to restore the fortress, which was falling into disrepair more and more, not only from natural influences, but also from numerous tourists literally dismantling it for souvenirs. Nevertheless, soon the whole world learned about this fort for the first time in 1966. Robert Enrico staged the final scene of his film Adventurers with two stars of French cinema, Alain Delon and Lino Ventura, in Fort Boyard. After a rather long break, already in 1980 the fort reappears on the screens, this time in the game show Treasure Hunt, the author of which was the famous figure of French television Jacques Antoine. It was he who discovered Fort Boyard while watching adventurers and suggested using the fortress for filming a new television game. But if the fort appeared on the screens sporadically before, then in the new game he was given the main role. At that time, the fortress was the private property of a Belgian dentist. Eric Earth agreed to sell the fort for one and a half million francs, and the general counsel of the Department of the Maritime Charente ventured to make it deal. After that, Jacques Antoine, having paid a symbolic amount of one franc, became the owner of the fort and started implementing his project. In 1989, reconstruction began. A platform for berthing ships was built 25 meters from the fort. The old fort pier was destroyed long ago. The courtyard was cleared of a 50 centimeters layer of bird droppings accumulated here for many decades and from almost 700 cubic meters of stone debris. Two halls were equipped for the TV game of the same name. A few months later, in 1990, the first issue of the TV game keys to Fort Boyard was filmed and a new era in the history of the fort began. That's all friends. Support us with a like and a repost if you are interested. See you in the next video. When preparing the video, materials from the Fort Boyard website were used.